Hello, 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 everybody. Uh, or today's lecture is very, very important. Uh, this is lecture number three, and how is networking devices? Okay, so networking devices, the very first and important is router, and the second one is switch, bridge, hub, diesel, fiber. Mostly, and CCNA. And networking, we deal with the uh, with the router, switch, and firewall. The DSL is already configured. We don't do anything with that. The hub is not most commonly in use, and the bridge, the bridge is not common in use. So, we first go to the router. Where is the router? Let's explain. These are the definition of the router. It is a device that forward the packet along different networks for example if you have a different networks and you want to communicate then you need a router if I am selling in United States and you are selling in somewhere in the Middle East somewhere in the other country so there are a lot of routers in between you and me because my router my local area network is communicating with the your local area network so these are different networks and they need to communicate and for this reason we need a router okay router connect at least two two networks commonly two lanes or two lanes or two two different icv networks the main theme is same that connect two different networks uh, it might be two networks uh, that might be two lanes or two veins because some routers are very heavy and they connect to different countries and they might be connecting to different cities but it is very important that router connect to different networks Okay, it is layer 3 devices. You know, layer 3, what I mean from layer 3 device? The OSI is similar layer model. Uh, we, had not that, we had not discussed that yet, but we will discuss it in the next lecture. Uh, the third lecture is the network, network layer, the third layer. So the router is the layer 3 device that is uh, uh, network layer and it deals with the IP addresses and a lot of other things so the the router is layer 3 device and switch might be layer 2 device data link layer okay so inside the switch inside the router if we look a little bit it consists of the uh, router uh, routes route informations uh, and a gateway information uh, if I tell you that router act is a gateway to our local area network it will not be bad so the router consists of a lot of routes it consists of the information about the different networks for example if I want to communicate with you my router must have uh, information about your network then it will be able to communicate then it will forward my packet to your network then your router will read it either it's for them or not if it is for their local area network they will forward it to their local area network otherwise they will discard okay icmp packets to communicate with each other mm. and one thing more that the best function of the router is it select the best path for example if uh, i'm communicating with you there are more than two routes there are more than two paths from route i also mean path uh, so if there are more than two routes uh, more than one route then the router will decide uh, on the bandwidth on the relay depend on the routing protocol that you are running on that router at the moment so uh, I want you to learn that what is router router is a device 
that uh, that enable communication between two different networks that is the main theme later on we will dive deep in the router and then you will understand a lot of things the router do best for ICMP, ICMP communication and also do uh, filtering by access lists we will we will read a lot of things about router uh, if I tell you more about a little bit more about router there are uh, there will be a console cable there might be a console hmm, port somewhere I think not available in this one okay 1841 router and this is its hmm, its power cable this might be fa0 by 0 it's not clear it's not clear man okay we will discuss it later uh, the uh, the router should have uh, serial interfaces and fast fast interface fast ethernet interface and one very important interface from interface i mean port one very important interface is console what we do with the console interface at the moment i need console interface because the the router is very fresh what i will do i will take a console cable i will connect one end of the cable to the router and another uh, another uh, another port of the uh, that cable to my uh, laptop an rs323 uh, port then i will be able uh, to communicate with the uh, with the router but but at the moment I must have putty a software that is used uh, I don't know if I have one here okay it, I must have in my laptop let me show you putty how putty look like putty putty so this is very okay what I will do I will connect uh, this I had at the moment if I say that I'm using a serial cable I'm using a console cable then I will click on the serial and then I will click on the open and a console will open but at the moment we don't have a router connected to our laptop so unable to open connection because we don't have a router at all so that's part you we will use it uh, in the lab okay the next device is switch let's move to the switch switch is a device so what was in the router in the router it enabled the communication between different uh, lanes between different networks here if we see there a device that send the traffic within the LAN network there is switch so switch will be a centralized device uh, that will enable communication uh, between different uh, for example if you are in a office if you are in your office and you want to communicate with your friend that is sitting near to you you can do it that is just because of the switch a switch is very intelligent device um, from intelligent I mean the switch no where I have to send the data and uh, either it is uh, it is to computer number one or computer number two or any else uh, they, uh, they, if you if you tell me that how they recognize computer, the they use the layer two address. That is the MAC address. So they forward the data according to the MAC address. For the first time, when we connect uh, a switch, there is no entry. Okay, let me show you the switch in the router in the in the packet tracer at least we can do that
how uh, router look like in packet tracer and how switch look like in packet tracer we will see there okay if I if I bring my arrow here it will say uh, in devices and new routers okay and I click on it then routers if you want to switch you click this one switches and router this is the router a lot a lot of number I using a generic I will be using a generic one because this is the default one okay so and a switch and a router we have uh, if I open it we have a different ports here available for example this one is a serial port this one is a fast Ethernet port there might be somewhere a console port as well so if I open up uh, the switch here I take a generic one I recommend you to take a generic one when you are not expert okay <clears throat> then I uh, then I take a computer left click and the left click on the screen okay then I want to connect these uh, this this computer to the switch and this switch to the computer again okay so I take a straight forward straight through cable now need a cross one because for different devices to communicate we use a straight through cable left click on this on the cable and then come left click on the computer I want to connect it to the first Ethernet and then left click on the switch and first Ethernet 0 by 1 0 by 1 is its address okay I come again and then I click left click on the, on a cable and then left click on a switch then another you can you can connect it with another one also but the important one is you should select the first ethernet okay i connect it with the computer again first ethernet then i wanna assign ip to the computer you know it's not a good idea because you people don't know about ip address but I would like to assign IP address for communication 10.0.0.1 and a subnet mask I don't need a router here the default gateway and the router I told you that uh, router act is a gateway but here we don't have a router we don't use router so we don't give a router ID a router interface ID so I came here and I entered another IP must not be same and when I open the switch uh, when I open the switch and, and then and then I I'll show you how many entries are here in the the Mac table I want to connect with another computer to clarify it to clarify my statement that uh, switch for the first time do broadcasting and for the next time switch for the first time broadcast for the first time and then unicast for the second time second third fourth and so on okay <coughs> Uh, let me let me check that uh, is there any entry in the Mac table for Mac address table okay there is no entry so for the first time there will be no entry F so here what is proved if the computer had not communicated with, when, when with each other so then there will be no entry in the Mac table okay so this computer number one is now ready to computer number two that's IP address is 10.0.0.0.2 so I came here and I write ping 
10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 2 okay I press enter and you will say that I got a replay from 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 2 32 bytes packet and that's the time in TTL and that's the TTL time to left so now if I come to the switch and I enter the same command show MAC address table and you will see that I got the MAC address of computer number one computer number two with its post with its port address but the computer number three MAC address is missing because it had not communicated with any of the computer yet let me communicate with this computer okay now come here and write ping 10 0.0.2 and press enter oh my god we had not assigned the IP to this computer yet first we come here and I assign IP and then we try to ping that's important to assign IP the last two packets successful because the computer got the IP okay now we will see the three MAC address in the MAC tab here we go one two three okay come to the topic uh, we, we should not move uh, away from more topic so the very uh, basic thing you should learn uh, forget about the packet tracer forget about the MAC addresses everything we will see it later uh, the basic thing is erase a device this send the packet within within the local area network okay this is the central uh, centralized device that enable uh, computer and other device might be printer might be IP cam might be scanners mm, in between them okay there is intelligent devices because uh, because that create a make table because uh, broadcast uh, for the first time and then unicorn for the first time when there is no entry uh, the device do broadcast uh, it will send the packet to the each and every device that is connected to the switch and when the when the uh, the computer read the packet and it will find that the packet is not for them then it will drop the packet but when the packet reach to the authentic one then that computer will replay replay with the, its own MAC address and the switch will note down its MAC address and its port address as well separate path for sending and separate path for receiving in a switch there is uh, one collision domain per port and one broadcast domain as a whole from separate path uh, I mean that uh, there will be no collision at all uh, the broadcast multiple broadcast domain each and every port have their own connection with uh, with the device it want to communicate if I go to this type it says that unicast communication for example if I want to communicate between A and B so there will be a separate path between A and B C will not know what the A and B are saying so there will be a separate communication no one will know what these two devices are saying, what these two devices are communicating about. So that's uh, from that point I mean that there will be separate path for the sending and separate path for the receiving. And the important point if I add here, it will be uh, Ed Hayes Ed Hayes uh, if I say it has uh, assigned bandwidth from what from what does that mean I mean that each and every port on the switch has its own bandwidth and its own delay 
no one gonna change it if even all the computer are communicating with each other the bandwidth will be same for each and every device okay one broadcast domain from broadcast domain i mean that uh, uh, you know the broadcast ip 255.255.255 or if we are communicating on the data link layer if we are uh, thinking about the switch then we will say fff and colon fff double dog fff uh, that device i mean that address that address will communicate for example when you first enter uh, when you first got a new computer from a market and you want to uh, you want your computer to get uh, ip then you know what you come here and you come here and assign ip to your you come here and assign ip to your computer but but what we do we we keep it on a automatically obtain ip this is a request for the dhcp server to get ip to our computer so by this way or what our computer will do it will broadcast it will broadcast into the whole uh, into the whole network what what is mean by broadcast broadcasting is the message is for everyone like in your own uh, mosque or your own church they do uh, announcement announcement about something that do do this or do that or don't do this or don't do that so that, that is for everyone so the broadcast is very similar that packet that broadcast broadcast packet is for each and every device each and every device read it if it is related to them they read it otherwise they are discarded okay for the first time when i install a computer to my network it will search for the dhcp server if the dhcp server is available on my com in my network it will get the ip address otherwise otherwise it will assign the a ip ip address we will we will talk more about it later on okay i don't want to confuse it uh, so there was the broadcast domain and the collision domain is somewhere where the data can collide where uh, collision can occur for example if uh, if you want to communicate through a same channel the packet must must be collide with each other but if there is a, a different path for what I said earlier separate path for sending and separate part for receiving then there will be no collision each port or the router has its own collision domain but the broadcast domain is common for all ports if there is eight ports if there are eight ports there will be there will be eight collision domain you got my point if there is 24 ports there will be 24 collision domain but if there is eight ports there will be one broadcast domain if there is 24 ports there will be one broadcast domain if there is 48 ports there will be one collision one broadcast domain the broadcast domain will be similar that is one if you want to break the broadcast domain later on we will do it with the different 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 techniques and we will discuss it in the vlans or intervening routing or different other techniques okay so don't worry about that uh, we will talk about it later watch what next and the switch uh, it is the data link layer device that is the layer 2 device in the osi layer it creates the mac table intelligently uh, you have you people have seen the mac table it create the mac table and the hardware is it is hardware base okay there is another term that is bridge which is software base and this is hardware base uh, 
and IC is used in the switch and we communicate uh, using that uh, using that chips that is called uh, ASIC chips and that that create actually that create the MAC table so for the switch you people should understand the one basic thing that it uh, it enable the traffic within the local EUA network and for the router you should understand it, uh, it is the device that route the traffic along different networks that's it uh, later on we will uh, look deep in it uh, there must be uh, the console yes um, here is here we got a switch uh, the Cisco KLS 26 2950 uh, there are eight ports for the computer to be connected in this ports if you see that console this ports is used for uh, for configuration if you want to configure the switch you need this port and this is the uplink and these uh, ports are used uh, for for computer to be connected for printer might be uh, depend on your local topology uh, next we will see that there are two different uh, type of uh, switches uh, I think that slide went a little bit far okay here we go type of switches there are two different type of switches mainly uh, some are uh, pre-managed switch we, we don't have to do a lot of things with that switch just plug in play switches if you uh, plug in the rg45 connector in that uh, and you just try to communicate that is fine just like we did in uh, in in the Cisco packet tracer we just connect to computer and it's fine we are ready to communicate with each other and some are manageable switches uh, that must have a console cable right there FEC that must be a console port uh, that is used to uh, for configuration of these devices either we gonna make VLAN or we gonna make uh, uh, port security kind of stuff we gonna configure uh, STP uh, spanning tree different kind of protocols uh, so for that reason we will use console cable and the pre-managed switch are already configured and we don't need to do a lot of things with that uh, and another device is a bridge that is uh, not very common uh, but it is just like it it is just like switches uh, with the limited with the fewer fewer ports uh, it is software based it also uh, do enable communication between line not covered in uscc in a course and it is also dear to devices so if there if someone asks you a uh, router is near dash uh, device you what, what you will say layer 3 if someone asks you uh, switch is layer dash device you will say layer 2 same as the bridge another device is hub well, hub is uh, a device uh, that um, that is also the centralized device but not so intelligent and central part for all computers and hub stands for hybrid universal broadcast because there is one broadcast domain and as a whole one collision domain so there are a lot of things mixed in the in the hub um, for example if you have 10 computers they are communicating through the switch uh, and each port has 10 MB a bandwidth so then the switch uh, each and every port must have 10 MB bandwidth but in the case of the hub if there are five computers and you have 10 MB bandwidth the bandwidth will be divided among all the computers all the devices connected to the hub and there is less intelligent no MAC address it will always broadcast the data if you want to communicate between if you want to if you want a to communicate with the b 
the packet will also reach to the C, D, E, F, and R everywhere. One path for the sending and receiving. Uh, there is no separate path. There is no separate session. So that's why it's less intelligent. Uh, and, uh, and there must be collision. But yeah, there is a very cool protocol. There is there is my slides is not very very complete there is c s m a c s m a policy c period sensing multiple access collision detection uh, what this protocol do it will uh, monitor the whole network if uh, it will monitor the whole network if for uh, the media if the if the hub is busy for example if a is communicating uh, with the c at the moment b want to communicate uh, it will check uh, through the csms cd either the media either the hub is um, ideal or busy in communicating with each other if if collision occur then this protocol send a jam signal to each and every port on the hub and tell the all devices to not communicate with the, each other unless and until the the device resend the data and the communication success uh, the next slide uh, is from our previous lecture and our slides are still missing and the next uh, the b part of the lecture three will be coming soon and we will enjoy it okay and thank you uh, for listening and if you have any question any inquiry you just come online through the facebook page we have our platform there you just come in there and we will communicate through the messages see ya